Time. That's your most valuable resource as content creators and video editors, but also in life. I put countless hours into both my freelance work and YouTube videos, always trying to level up my production and challenge myself to create something greater. And once I get to editing, specifically when working with animations, I find myself always trying to fine tune all the little details, putting hours in to try and make it look perfect. And for a lot of people, myself included, that can really take the joy out of editing when you can't get something to look right or your system is slowed down so much that it's just totally unusable. So instead of spending all that time on each of the animations in my video, I decided to spend 10 times as long making presets to do it for me. It seemed like a good idea at the time. And now that the tools are completed, editing is way more fun. I don't have to get distracted with all the tedious details of getting the animations to look perfect, let alone waiting for my system to render them. So I put all of these together into a pack for you to use as well. Introducing the Editor Collection. Each of the 30 plus tools allows limitless control of the look, the timing, and the animation of the template. But instead of having to go to the Fusion page, sort through all the different nodes, and find the right ones to control, this one does it all for you with just a couple of sliders. And the best part is, they just work. Over the past few weeks, I have been using these in each one of my projects, and even having other video editors stress test them for me, so that way I can optimize them for the most efficient workflow and having the least amount of bugs. But instead of just telling you all the features, I'm going to show you some of the best ones. The Whip Animate tool allows you to animate anything, whether it's logos, text, images, you can do it in a couple of clicks. You can combine different animations, change how they animate at the end, and even change the length of the animation all from the edit page. Plus, you can extend the length of the clip, add a drop shadow, shake, and even motion blur. But let's talk about the motion blur for just a second. Most DaVinci Resolve templates render motion blur for the entire clip, even though it's only a short animation at the beginning and end. And as we all know, motion blur is slow and can bring your system to a halt. So instead of using the traditional method, every editor collection tool uses intelligent motion blur, which pretty much means that it's only going to render motion blur when the tool is animating. And as you can guess, this can save a ton of time in the rendering process. Whip Background allows you to create a fully custom animated background in a matter of seconds. Whip Chapter allows you to show up to nine bullet points or talking points that you have throughout the video. With just a few sliders, you can customize the order and the speed that they take to animate onto the frame. Plus you can change the style, size, add an underlay, and even animate each one of them individually. Now you've seen all these cool zooms throughout the video. Did you really think I was doing all those manually? Whip Zoom creates a smooth professional zoom that allows control over the pivot point, the zoom amount, and of course, the animation. And as a bonus, you can set it to continuous so it animates throughout the entire clip. This functions as an effect or generator, so that way you can use it over multiple clips and even duplicate it to use it later on in the project. Expanding on the last one, Whip Pivot allows you to take that zoomed in view and move it to a different spot on the screen. Now let's say you want it to look handheld or add a bunch of chaos to your video. Whip Shake adds a shake animation. But unlike the traditional DaVinci Resolve Shake tools, this one also animates in and out. By the way, my name is Jake Whip, and if you didn't know, I can use my Whip Name tool to put it onto the screen. I can put it in any of the corners, flip it around, change the animation, the style, all in just one tool. And it's super easy. Plus, if you find a design that you really like, you can just drag it to your power bin so that way you can reuse it throughout all of your projects. Whip Highlight. Bring stuff to the center of the screen, scale it up, and customize everything. I already made a video on this one, but I've updated it so now it works in real time. Now we all know those people who only film in vertical resolution. So fix it using Whip Frame. It's pretty much just your blanking fill effect, but now it has an animation built in. And it's way simpler to use. And if you think that vertical content is better, I guess it works with horizontal content too. Have you noticed all this text popping up on the screen? Well, if you want to add it, it's not going to slow you down anymore. Whip Text is your text plus node but on steroids. With all of your same controls like size, tracking, position, all of that, it has a checkbox next to it, allowing you to animate it. And plus, for I think the first time ever, we now have a follower animation on the edit page. At least one that works. That's way easier than using the modifier in the fusion page. Plus, adjust the shading and add yourself a drop shadow. And for the next one, Whip cam puts me down in the corner. Plus, you can change where it's at around the screen. Change the shape to give your presenter some more room, and even remove the animation so you can use it over multiple clips. You've all heard of Whip Pan, but have you heard of Whip Pan? The best Whip Pan transition allows you to fully customize the speed, direction, midpoint, and even retime it. And there are even more templates that I did not cover in this video. Plus, there's more to come down the road. 
So to see a full list and a walkthrough of each of the templates, check out my website linked down below. And the best part is there is a free version of this pack available. It includes Whip Highlight, Whip Zoom, Whip Shake, and of course, Whip Pan. For those of you wanting to invest in the full version of the pack, I can promise you it's going to easily pay for itself with the time it'll save you. And everyone will get free updates with all the cool templates I have planned for the future. Leave a comment down below with which tool you're most excited to use, and if you have any suggestions for the future. Check out the pack in the description, and I'll see you there.